Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jerma here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Gonna be playing as the sniper tonight with the Bizarre Bargain, which I don't know why I use this thing. To be totally honest, I should not be equipping this thing at all. I just like the way it looks and I like the way it sounds. So, regardless of all of that, I'm using the Bizarre Bargain, the Razorback, and the default Kukri. And the reason why I have the Razorback on is... I know that the Razorback is not the best option. I know that you should just put on the Jurati or put on the Danger Shield. I usually have the Danger Shield on. But I have this on because for some reason, when you put this on, this is just like going under the covers when you were five years old, ducking your head under the covers and sleeping that way to protect yourself from monsters. Now, as we all know, if a monster did come into the room, he would rip the covers off and just kill you. And that's kind of the same theory with the Razorback. It just makes me feel more comfortable. It makes me feel like I'm protected when I'm really not. But that's why I have it on. This is also on King of the Hill Lakeside, which is one of the best sniper maps in the game, because it really is just built for snipers. There's a little roost over here. There's a spot over on the left that has a wall to protect you. There's a spot down below. There's plenty of spots for snipers, and that's why everybody plays sniper on this map. This is a great sniper. This is a great spy map, which is the reason why it can get sort of crazy on this map if you hold down tab and look at the scoreboard and you go why are there seven snipers on this game right now <laughs> well that's the reason because it's a map that's catered to snipers i guess <laughs> so what i want to talk about in this gameplay i, I want to talk about something very 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 important it's about live streaming i just got the ability to live stream on youtube through machinima i have a machinima contract that lets me do it now and I want to start to transition from Twitch over to YouTube. Now, I'm not just going to stop doing my Twitch TV stuff. I'm not going to turn that off and be like, oh, okay, that's it, no more Saturday 6 o'clock streams. No, that's still going to be there. Every Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to live stream on Twitch. Regardless of all of this new YouTube live streaming stuff. So don't be worried about that at all. That's going to keep going. I'm going to keep that going for a long time. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I'm going to start doing random YouTube streams to try and get the feel for it, try to get into the YouTube scene for streaming. Because I don't want anyone to be taken off guard by this. I don't want someone to see in their feed that I'm streaming on YouTube and have them be like, what is going on right now? <laughs> what? So look out for that in the next couple weeks. I'm not going to do it so soon. I want to make sure I do it right when I do it. So be on the lookout for that. So now I have a question for you guys. Has to do with Team Fortress 2, has to do with snipers, so it's in a perfect video, right? <laughs> so the question is, what is your favorite sniper rifle, and where is your favorite spot on any map? Because I'm trying to find some new places to snipe, not just on Lakeside. I'm talking Gold Rush, I'm talking Badwater, I'm talking everything in general. So I'll give you an example, I'll start off, ready? My favorite sniper rifle is the Bizarre Bargain. I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> And my favorite sniping map slash spot is Badwater. And it's that spot right when people come around that corner for the first card, when you're on defense. So if I'm on defense and I'm a sniper, the spot where right where people come around that first corner there on offense. I love that spot, just shooting down that tunnel. You get so many kills because so many people are stuffed in that one little area. So that's what I mean for an example because I'm trying to find some new spots and trying to find some new fun ways to play sniper. So let's start talking about the gameplay right now. Nice headshot on that spy. Coming out here, I don't know why I decided to do this. This is not really advisable. I don't get myself killed or anything, but I, this, I don't know why I decided to come all the way over to the point. I, I told myself I wanted to get a better view, a better look. I wanted to be able to shoot downward at people, but this is not really recommended at all. <laughs> Trying to get the shot on that medic with the crossbow, because he is aiming for me and I am scared. And now the soldier medic pair comes up here. I smarten up now. I turn around, go back to my roost. Not going to screw around anymore. Let's, let's end this the right way, right? But now I see there's a sniper in the way, so I decide I'm not going to stand here. Two snipers in the same spot. That is not a good idea. So I make my way up here. I'm going to go, whoa, wait a minute. Four people on the point right now. I, <laughs> I just barely caught myself. I would have been killed instantly if I had walked up there. So I come through the left pool room, as a friend of mine likes to call it. Just trying to kitty corner myself so I can aim through that hole there. Doesn't really work out so well, so I end up turning around, going towards their spawn area. 
And I hang back here, I get a spy, spy comes after me, I club him in the face. And then I get a nice headshot on this sniper coming up here. And that's gonna be all she wrote, we win the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, I really do appreciate it. And be on the lookout for my YouTube live streams. I have no idea when they're gonna start, but they're gonna start soon. So I will see you guys all next time. Take care, everybody.